Today we're going to do a little uh, SolidWorks part that's going to be 2D to 3D. We're actually going to bring in a DWG into SolidWorks directly and create a part there. Not only a part, but we're actually going to create a weldment there as well. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to click open and we're going to change our files of type to DWG. And we're going to pick our part, click OK, open. And again, we have the DXF DWG import box that gives us the option to edit and view in DWG editor, create new solids drawings, or import to a new part. We're going to import this to a new part. Click next. And you see here our part. And we're going to go through and we're going to turn off the layers that we have here that we're not going to be using. I want to keep everything, the main part and the dimensions up is the only thing that I'm really looking for here. I'm going to click next and I'm going to tell it not only to merge the points but also to do import dimensions and to add the constraints as well. And I'm going to click finish. Click yes to enable the blocks to explode. It's all where it works to bring this drawing, this 2D drawing into a uh, sketch environment. The uh, confirmation corner there. Now we need to do some work here because we don't need a couple of these things and there's a few of them that we're going to have to make some changes to so I'm going to go in and do a window select around part of this and uncheck the construction and check it again for construction to make sure everything in there is going to be construction lines now it looks like I might have missed these two I'll go back in there and do those the same way. Now we've got everything for construction. I'll grab a line now to finish the line across the back of my part. Now also we're going to select these lines with the control select and then the control window over these corners. And again we're going to tell it that's for construction. Now what we're doing is we're actually creating a solid contour, a closed contour, uh, without any openings so that whenever we get ready to do an extrude it will be no problem to do that. Now one other thing we need to do is here, we need to go in and do the same thing with these, make these for construction, and finish the line here. So now we've got our parts ready to go. So all we have to do now is we've got three different views here and these are 2D views. It's the only thing that you can put into 2D uh, but we've got the, uh, the, the top or the front and the right and then the bottom. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to tell SolidWorks here that this particular part or this particular view is actually going to be my front view. I'm using the 2D to 3D toolbar and you can access that through uh, any of your toolbars up here but 2D to 3D. So that's my front view. I'm going to tell it that this is actually my bottom view. And you can see here that it rotates it around to where it fits it up against that part the way it should be. And then of course here again this is going to be my right view and it rotates it around. So now we've got the three views in the correct orientation. All we need to do is make them alignment. So I'm going to select the bottom of this view and the uh, line here and tell it to align the sketch. And when I do that it actually uh, locks it in place and you can see there that now we're getting somewhere with uh, what this part actually looks like in 3D space. I'm going to take and select the bottom of this part in this line and also do an aligned sketch. So now we've got all of our sketches aligned so that we're ready to start the extrude process to get this this part underway. I'm going to click OK to escape from the sketch and I'm going to go straight into my boss base extrude. I'm going to pick this sketch tell it that I want to uh, extrude it up to vertex or up to a point 
and I'm just going to pick this point not knowing what the thickness is I can tell that by extruding it from the level that I placed it at up to that point I'm at the right thickness so I click OK to accept it and at that point I'm going to go to my weldments here and I'm going to tell it that I want to insert weldments into my part now what weldments is going to do is as I create more extrusions that weldment is not going to merge these parts it's going to keep them separate it's like putting steel together and welding it so let's keep going with features extrude boss base again we're going to select this sketch I'm going to tell it that I want to extrude it from the vertex and this is actually the side profile of that vert of that uh, part of that tube I'm going to extrude it up to a vertex and the back corner of that I'm going to tell it this is not a thin feature and I'm going to place the uh, I'm going to rotate this around so you can see a little bit I'm going to place these contours into uh, make them parts go ahead and select both of these contours and you can see there the preview that's creating these parts go ahead and click OK now you see here our cut list is being added to we now have three different parts if we right click on that cut list and do an update you see that we now have two cut lists one is for the bottom plate and the other two the other one is for the two uh, rectangular tubes now we want to go in here and make sure that we show this sketch so we can do some more work with it I'm going to extrude the boss base again again we're going to select the sketch and we're going to extrude from a vertex this time we're going to grab the front corner here extrude up to that vertex and we're going to pick the bottom corner of this plate now I'm going to go to my select contours here and rotate it around a little bit so you can see and select there and there and now you see that these parts have been placed accordingly according to our drawing according to the views that we have so now we have two other parts and you don't have to go through and do an update each time but you can do it after you get finished if you'd like but as we go through we can update it and keep our cut list the same and going now we need to uh, create another profile this time we're going to use our right view not use a little thin feature but we are going to do another uh, offset vertex and we're going to use our bottom view to tell it where to start and where to go to up to vertex and then we're going to pick that contour which is there and we get the correct thickness because we picked the two points now at that point we can actually go in and create a sketch and do it but let's go ahead and finish this thing up the way it was meant to be show the sketch and again we're going to pick the uh the upright and we're going to tell it that we're going to pick go from the vertex and this time we're going to do the opposite side and up to vertex there and then select contours is that contour again and there you have that part being recreated from a 2d drawing into SOLIDWORKS model so we can go in now and hide these sketches to clean up our model we can tell it to update our weldments you can see that we now have four cut lists now, there's one other thing that we have to do and that's with a uh, chamfer we're going to go in and tell it that we want a point 1875 chamfer at 45 degrees and I just want it on these top and bottom faces here to create a point for my spade or for the shovel tip here so that gives us the exact model that we were looking at earlier.